like Mike in a different situation than what you normally see me. Uh, I don't know how well this video will end up doing, whatnot, but I am in New Mexico. I am helping my brother move, which, you know, I guess it's cool, you know, that he has somebody like me to rely on, but, uh, yeah, I'm driving his, uh, Mark 6 GLI, and he's in that gold Volkswagen Mark 4 in front of us, Jetta, and, uh, yeah, so... We're finally getting on the road to Oklahoma. And uh, yeah, it was interesting start to our day because he tried doing an oil change on this Mark, 7, uh, Mark 6 the other day. And um, whoever did it before stripped the, the drain plug. Like, like to where like this thread actually like broke off, broke like that spot welds and fell into the oil pan somehow, which it, kind of crazy how it did that uh so we had to actually get a new oil pan before we could even start our adventure so you know got that put on yesterday you know got it snugged up and everything let the, the gasket makers you know uh cure overnight and yeah filled it up with oil no leaks and now we are on the road um yeah a little bit of an excitement you know doing like that last minute maintenance because he just also did the uh timing uh belt on the uh, mark four before our trip which that's a job you know i sounds terrible to say but i'm kind of glad that i wasn't here for that you know but uh yeah i don't know really how much you all care about sites and stuff but New Mexico, it's kind of cool, kind of cool in a way, um, I guess, this would be the place though if you had a sport bike to be, because these roads, as you're kind of seeing, they're very straight with like just some gradual turns and stuff, it, yeah, like, this part of the road that we're on, you know, you could do some very unsavory speeds and be okay. It, it's it's pretty neat out here. But uh, yeah, just kind of wanted to, I guess, bring you on my little adventure. Um, got like 11 hours to drive. Uh, don't think we're gonna do it all today, but you know, we'll uh, we'll see. We will see, and who knows? Maybe I'll. Um, do a quick walk around of this GLI which honestly he got a phenomenal deal on this uh, speaking about it it's a 2013 with 50,000 miles he uh, it when he bought it it had a bonded title because it was a buyback for Volkswagen because it had a wiring harness you know issues so it was bought back, fixed by Volkswagen, and then resold without had a bonded title. Well, you know, the owner that bought it, you know, before him, uh, had the car for like six, seven years, you know, no issues with it. And since, uh, I guess the way that the titling worked is that after three years, you can get a clean title, and yeah, he got a clean title with this thing. So, and he got a phenomenal deal with, you know, how like, how the used car market's been. I think he said he got it for like 12, 12,000, which really not bad for a nice low mileage GLI. But uh, yeah, so we are doing this trip. We are gonna see how it goes. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say at the moment. Besides, you know, it, it, it's a little different than, you know, my normal motorcycle uh, driving videos or the mini truck. But, you know, it's, it's something. Which, you know, for all those that watch this, you know, I recommend, it, like, that sounds kind of crazy because I, I, I know, but, like, doing long cross-country drives 
it's pretty phenomenal. It really is. Like, like getting to see the views that you don't normally, you know, see and stuff. It's, it's pretty neat. It is pretty neat. And look at that, White Sands Missile Range. So, you know, get to see some cool stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, you know, I never wanted to be one of those people that, like, didn't get to really see the country that I was born and raised in, you know? Because, unfortunately, you know, due to some people's circumstances, they kind of stay landlocked in, like, a certain area. But, yeah, getting out there and just experiencing just all the different areas that the country has to offer, it, it's a pretty phenomenal experience, you know? Because I've done from Colorado all the way back to Maryland, and that was cool. That was really cool. I got to see some parts of Kansas that, like, like I did 60 miles, and it was a dead straight road in Kansas. It, it was, it was neat. It was kind of, you know, something you never truly experience. You know, like you see movies or stuff that may kind of give you an idea, but it's just different experiencing it yourself. You know. And it's good memories, you know. Memories are priceless. So I guess I'll stop my, uh, what do you call it? My, uh, blah, blah, blah. my philosophy talk, you know, just them deep feels and just, yeah. I will, uh, get back to driving for a bit and I will bring you all along as I go. All right, small little update, passing through. I'm not really sure what this town is called. Charzio, Charzo. And even though there's road work going on, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of people that exist here. It's just kind of like a pass-through town. Kind of, uh, kind of interesting. Definitely be able to buy a piece of property out here for pretty cheap if even wanted to live out here, which that's all a person walking, so I guess that's something. And then that Nissan truck that we just passed, that that is not from the States, unfortunately. You can definitely tell that. Huh. Oh, there is a gas station. That's that's something. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll continue on uh, my adventure and I will try to find some more interesting areas as we go along. Alright, uh, another update. Not really sure where we are, we're just in the middle of New Mexico still. Oh my, this is going to be close. So oh god! Oh god, that would have been brutal. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. That was, that was something. I will tell you what. I am kind of glad I caught that on camera. Uh, whoo. That person almost done took us both out. Mm. Well, that was a little bit of excitement. I will tell you what. I, I was kind of recording because I was like, oh, look at this. We're kind of like in like weird little mountains, hill, or not mountains, hills, you know, with like a small little bit of curvy after driving pretty much dead straight for the past 50 miles, you know, like, but uh, yeah, that was interesting. So, yeah, I, I admit, like, even though... I would be worn out on riding a motorcycle right now. These flat, like these roads would be so much fun just to kind of like wind the bike out and just kind of let her eat. You know, it just, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It would just be so cool. Like, I guess that's a bad thing because you never know with wildlife out here. I don't, I don't know really what kind of wildlife they truly have, but you know, if you're on like a, on like a true crotch rocket 150 160 mile an hour like it'd be nothing out here and you just 
wouldn't even think twice. I don't know, kind of crazy when you think about it, but um, yeah, yeah, like look at this. I, I know I don't know how it's gonna look in the camera yet because I'm you know trying to you know we'll see how it looks, but it just goes off into the distance. Just, Maybe I'll have to bring a motorcycle out this way at some point in the future just to, just to ride this, just to have experience it, you know. I don't know, I, I'll definitely get this posted up to the tube, to the YouTube. Uh, I, it, it's something different, you know. It's neat just driving through New Mexico out in the middle of nowhere. But, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, let me just keep on going. I know I'm just kind of cutting in here and out, you know, uh, in and out a couple of times, but, you know, I at least, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll definitely see. I'll keep you uh, informed because we're, we're doing many miles of just nothing, so. Yeah, next time I see something interesting or something cool or scary, tragic, all of the above happens, I will try to let you all know as we go along. Alrighty. Well, another quick update from New Mexico. <clears throat> so, I've been hitting some really phenomenal sections of road to where I... I've gotten to stretch the legs of the GLI a little bit. Like, look at this. It is just wide open. It's just, it's phenomenal. This is, like, yes, it's kind of, like, in a way boring because it's a straight road, but, man, what I wouldn't give to have some type of hardcore sports car, like a Mustang, a, a Corvette, or something just crazy just to be able to enjoy this. Like, I would almost have to have, like, an auxiliary fuel tank just so I don't, like, run out of gas before I could get to the next area. It's unbelievable. This is so cool out here. I'm not really sure what road I'm on because I ended up passing my brother just because I happened to have a heavy foot for a few, uh, just for a little bit, and, well, yeah, he's kind of stuck behind me for a little while. Um, there ain't, uh, He's trying to bypass a couple of cars as we're going down this major road, but uh, yeah, sorry, little bro. He'll he'll catch up eventually. I'm just gonna just kind of set it at cruise control, and I'm just gonna glide down this phenomenal empty road. Yeah, look at that. Uh, helps if I don't hit the mirror, but yeah, look at this. It's just wide open country plains out here. Saw uh, saw actually a freight train go by on those uh, railroad tracks right there on the left hand side not that long ago. It was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I guess that is a true way of getting things around out this way. You know, you just have rail travel. Uh, I don't know. This is so refreshing. I, I don't know. I kind of like needed this mentally. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this down because I think that might be a cop. Yeah, and the city of Vaughan, man, look at this place. Dude, there is... There really isn't a whole lot out here, I'll tell you what. I will tell you what, there really isn't a whole lot out here. That's why I stick with water. Yeah, you know you wanted to stay in... Dude, look at that little diner. That little diner was kind of cool looking. Dude, dude I, I would not want to stay in one of those like ho motels, man. I, oh god, that was a little sharper than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> dude, I forgot to tell you, I, I remember that turn in my job. I fucking broke the tires for my accident. <laughs> wow. Dude, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, th this little town, man, I don't know. It, there's not much going on out here. There's a town graveyard up there. It's like, but they're fucking big though. 
Yeah, that that's kind of sad. There's, a, there's probably more graves in this graveyard than there are people in the town left. That's kind of concerning. That's a, that is definitely probably. You know, we always get to see some vis uh, interesting sights as we do our uh, cross-country drives. Yeah. Wow. Dude, that's so fucking huge, dude. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, guys, I will show you a little bit more as we bypass some more interesting little towns and whatnot. But uh, yeah, this is where we're at so far. Uh, still in New Mexico. <laughs> we just passed by the crossroads of New Mexico, it said. So, uh, we are on to our next, uh, interesting destination. Alright, so, a little, a little interesting thing that I saw as we were stopping up to get some gas. We're near, uh, Tucumori or something like that. Uh, don't crucify me if I didn't get the name right. But as we were pulling off, I saw where the road ends. Which, you know, very unfortunate I don't have an SUV because it would be really cool to just drive off this, where it goes from nice and paved to dirt road. Yeah, look at that. Look how it just disappears into to that nice dirt. Oh, man, if all if only I had like a dual sport or something like that where I could just kind of just go to the land less traveled. I don't know if this is private property, but like, yeah, look at that. It just the road just kind of ends and the dirt road begins. <sighs> man, I really need to start bringing an SUV when I start doing trips like this. But like I said, this is where the road ends. If you all ever wonder where that happened to be. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to keep on pushing towards Amarillo and, you know, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> All right. Day two of the journey. Uh, we got to Amarillo. Uh, yeah. Got here kind of late to where pretty much we had to go to a club just so we could actually get any type of food. You know, because that was all that was open. You know, nothing like paying a $10 cover charge just so I can go in and eat some food. It's quite tragic, but that is life. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Now we're beginning our second half of our journey today. So, yeah, we will see how that goes. Um. I'm uh, probably going to break this up into two videos depending, so, you know, uh, this will be the end of part one. Hope y'all like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, I will keep y'all informed once we get to somewhere interesting again. Alrighty, now we are in Oklahoma, which, as you can see, there's a fair bit of green compared to the, uh, the desert of before. <clears throat> uh, I've never really experienced it before, which uh, when I was in uh, Texas, uh, there was a little bit of rain and there was like, I guess you call it the clay. You know, I took a step in it just to see and I gotta say, Texas clay, when it's up near Amarillo, that, that stuff is sticky, man. Like, people that do off-roading up here, that's... I wonder what kind of struggle that provides compared to like normal dirt. But, you know, onwards, here we are in Oklahoma. Uh, not really sure what area I'm in as of yet. Uh, but I'm getting relatively, like maybe an hour or so away from Oklahoma City. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a pretty solid road trip so far, you know, um, hasn't really been anything really interesting since getting out of, like, Texas, New Mexico, um, yeah, I don't know, well, I guess
guess once we get a little closer to Tulsa, uh, not Tulsa, uh, Oklahoma City or Tulsa or whatnot, who knows, maybe there will be something that will come up that's kind of interesting, but if, um, but if it's kind of just like this for the rest of the way, then, uh, yeah, I don't know, really know what else I'll, um, how much else I'll record, to be honest, because, you know, besides just hearing my voice, you know, and the random sights and sounds. Um, actually, 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 actually. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but, um, windmill farms man there it is crazy out there you know like all those windmills and stuff and uh when we were driving through at night they have red lights attached to them i guess i guess for like planes and stuff so you know which if you're flying that low then there's problems um it is really eerie when you're just kind of driving through and then you look off to the right and then like all of a sudden like an entire like grid of red just illuminates for a split second and then goes back off flashing it it's definitely kind of cool and weird and for a while i didn't know what was going on until i got close enough to where i saw like the red glint off the blades of the uh windmills but yeah it it was pretty cool for the most part uh definitely something quite interesting so yeah uh, i guess that's my little bit of rambling for right now um you know, probably once you get a little closer, I'm also going to look to see if there's any interesting, uh, either stores or other things to kind of look at. Because, like, I've seen a sign for an Indian trading post, which, that'd be kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely see as we get further into OK Oklahoma. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'll, you know, keep it up. Oh, God. Huh. I will keep you all informed as I go along. Well, after uh, about five hours of traveling since Amarillo, we are now pretty much pretty close to Tulsa. Like I'm, like we're we're within like a spitting distance of our final destination. So yeah, it was a trip. One thing I'll admit, when I was riding through some of that farmland, which I think was, I don't know if it was still part of Texas or we hit Oklahoma at that point. It might have still been Texas. You know, when you look at like how big them, that farmland is and like the amount of equipment that they have, it really makes you wonder about like all the thing, like all the gallons of water, chemicals and all that crazy stuff that they use like just to keep, you know, you know, keep all the crops going. I don't know, it's one of those things you don't really think about unless you actually see it, like, and this, like, understand, like, the sheer, uh, yeah, sheer size of, like, of all that, but, uh, yeah, so, I guess, um, I don't really got much else to say for the second part, but, uh, besides, here we are kind of interesting a uh, little you know definitely a little interesting through here nice and green uh, definitely saw a lot of motorcycles as we were riding up through here one dude in particular wasn't wearing a helmet at all and he was just he was hooning on that uh harley like i was extremely uh, extremely surprised i was like dear lord but Hey, you know, I guess that's what they do out this way. Oh, huh, that's interesting. A green Walmart sign. That's something that you don't normally see. I don't know why it's green instead of being blue or whatever it normally is, but all right. It's kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Well, I guess, like I said, on that note, here we are, and, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my uh, little adventure and the small little bits and pieces that I actually included in the video, which ain't much, unfortunately, when you're kind of stuck on the, the big old highways, but honestly.
honestly right here in kind of Tulsa this is kind of a nice looking little neighborhood like this is almost kind of reminds me of almost like a Columbia and like out like you know how and like in, eh, fuck. and like uh in like Maryland or something like that you know yeah pretty cool little place so I'm definitely gonna drive around a little bit out here see if I like it who knows maybe I'll try to come out this way I don't know we'll see but uh, yeah, so let me get it going and uh, hope you all like.